Hey guys, it's Becca at Rebecca Marie Sales. Today I'm going to go over this Brother GX 6750 electronic typewriter. I recently picked this up and you can see it is just in excellent condition. This came out in the early 2000s. Um, it's a very popular typewriter, especially right now. It has a great sell-through rate on eBay. Um, and since over time the plastic does tend to yellow, this one hasn't. It's still that great electronic gray color. So we're off to a good start. So to start getting into this machine, um, I'm going to go ahead and lift that clear tray up. This is called a daisy wheel typewriter. There is a little spindly device in here. If you press this black lever on your right forwards, that will release it. Ooh, and this ribbon is all messed up. So that's the daisy wheel. I guess it looks like a little flower. Has all the different spindles with your numbers and your letters and your special characters on it. So we're gonna go ahead and put that back. Um, okay, and while we're in here, obviously this ribbon is all combobulated. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. You literally just lift it out. There's nothing to it. So, you know, us old people, we know how to fix this. There is a little orange um, spinner thing here on the left. So I'm just going to turn that. Turn, 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 turn. Until it's back nice and tight. And we're just going to keep going a little more through. Let's get a little more. All right, so that's much better. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in there. Make sure that the ribbon is aligned between those two metal brackets. And we're just going to snap that back in place. Now, typically this does come with the correctional tape. I don't have any, there's none in there. And that's one of the great things about this typewriter is that you can correct your mistakes. It's kind of like white out. However, this one doesn't have it. So we're just going to go through and test it as is. First things first, make sure that it's plugged in. Mine's plugged in. We're going to turn it on. The power switch is over here on the left hand side. So we're going to go ahead and click this on. Let it boot up here. We're gonna go ahead and remove the keyboard cover. This is awesome because it also functions as a paper tray. So we're gonna stick that up there. Let's go ahead and load some paper now. There is an arrow on the tray that points to where you should insert your paper. So we have the conventional way, turning the knob, nothing's happening. You wanna make sure that this lever over here on your right is pressed forward. So that's going to tighten everything up in there and your paper should go through. You can also on this machine, grab that back out, put it back, let it self insert the paper. So to do that, just press the code button down here on the bottom left hand corner, press A, and that's going to insert the paper for you. So now that my paper is inserted, we're going to go ahead and start testing all the keys and make sure that they work. You'll notice that my carriage is in the center after inserting my paper. So I'm going to get that back over to the left by pressing return. I'm also going to go ahead before I do anything and press code again down on the bottom left hand corner and Q. And that's going to reset everything. It's going to spin the daisy wheel, get everything where it needs to go. And now we're ready. So I'm gonna go ahead first and type in my store name, Rebecca Marie Sales, and today's date, which is February 10th, 2022. Can you believe it's 2022 already? I cannot. And the first thing we're gonna do is do this self demo. So mine still has this big lovely sticker on it telling you how to do it. You just press the backspace key while holding down the alt key. So let's do that and see what it does. I'm just going to let it do its thing.
Awesome. So that all looks really good. So self demo mode activated and complete. So to just finish testing the simple functions that are, you know, easy to test, I'm just going to run through the keyboard, do all the letters, do lowercase, uppercase, all the numbers, uh, the special characters that are on the keyboard. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Lowercase, all looks good. To uh, change it to capital letters or uppercase, I'm just gonna come down here. I'm gonna press code, shift lock. That puts on the caps lock. So let's go through all the letters again. All of those look good. Let's do numbers. Those look good. Special characters. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key. Hold it down. Go through all those again. All right, so those all look really, really good, you guys. If you can see them in there. Now, like I said earlier, I do not have any of the correction tape, so I can't really test the correction feature, but I'm just gonna type some stuff, and then I'm gonna hit backspace, correct. So you can see the thing in there. It does lift up the ribbon as it should and lets that thing tap. That's where the, the little white out tape would go. Um, obviously I don't have that, but everything else looks good. I think this was a success and I hope this helped you out a little.